What's up guys? Welcome back to Homes on Wheels. Today me and Heath are out here at the home place in Pinson, Alabama. We've got a beautiful Deer Valley home right here that has something hidden inside that completely shocked me. I couldn't believe it. When I opened the door and looked through this house, it was amazing. So y'all come on in with us and let's take a look around. I love the fact that it has that rock front right here that you see. Got a beautiful door right here that has a window on it. A lot of times the doors on these homes are solid. This just gives it more of a homey feel. It allows a little bit more natural lighting in as well. When I opened the door and I first saw it, I said, I don't know that I've ever seen a layout like this. There we go. Look at this, guys. This is a beautiful home. I'm going to shut the door. We've had a little bit of a stormy day so far. We've had a little bit of rain, so we're keeping the rain out. When you walk in, you may think, well, this is a beautiful living room, and that it is. But there's actually a den, too, that has even more wow factor. If you take a look up at the ceiling, though, it's got beautiful beams. I like the fact that they're darker colored because that's allowing it to kind of contrast against the white ceiling. Got a nice, what I would call a shiplap style up here where the ceiling fan is. You have large crown molding all the way around. And it just gives you that stick build feel. Right now, they've got a full size sofa, a full size love seat, and a coffee table in here. And you got plenty of room for a TV if you wanted to put it in there. But the open floor plan style of this home is just giving so much room to, I guess, just to entertain as many folks as you want to. I mean, you could entertain a whole football team in here. <laughs> right out of this living area that you walk through, though, you walk into the dining room. There again, they have a smaller table in here right now, but you can tell there's loads of room on both sides of this. And it is going to be able to put probably a table that could fit eight or ten people at it, honestly. I don't think it would be an issue at all. If you take a look, though, as you pass the dining room, you walk into this kitchen. Now, we've showcased several homes in the last few videos that had darker style cabinets. I know that we had a comment here a week or so back from someone that said, hey, I like the light cabinets. Where did they go? Well, here they are. Beautiful light colored cabinets all the way around. And instead of the darker stainless steel appliances, they did put regular stainless steel in there. They do have a single basin sink right here to the side. And let's do the heath test. Does it work? Oh, it passed the test. It works. And I like the fact that this sink right here, instead of just being in the top, it has like a full stainless side right here. And you know, a lot of times you're in here and you got soapy dishes and it starts to roll off the front of it. And the last thing you want it to do is eventually go down here and mess your cabinets up. But above the sink, you're gonna notice some windows and guess what they open that is a huge deal for most of you guys that want to know do the windows open and these do let's find out how they work there we go they kind of just slide like a bus window got screens on them though keep all of the mosquitoes and bugs out during the summertime there is a really nice tile backsplash in here as well it is a two-tone cabinet countertop in here though if you'll notice this looks like marble right here, but on the island over here, it looks more like barn wood. We're gonna let the camera catch up with me. I've gotta get used to the gimbal, guys. I'm a fast mover. <laughs> it's got a beautiful countertop style over here. So like I said, it's two-tone. Just kind of mixes things up, keeps it a little bit different. And I'm gonna show you all my favorite thing in the cabinets in a lot of these homes, and that's right here. It's the Lazy Susan. You open it up, and you can rotate around. So if you got a pot or a pan that's way in the back, you can rotate that thing around and get whatever you need to out without having to crawl down on the floor to get it. You do have a rather deep cabinet here. This will be for your oversized platters, trays, stuff like that. It'll fit without a problem. Compared to your standard style right here, which is still plenty of deep enough to handle any size plate like that you would regularly eat a dinner off of. Right here is the big island. We did showcase the countertop, but we didn't show you the cabinets. So we had two-tone countertops. Why would we not have two-tone cabinets? So if you look, these are gray colored cabinets down here to counter the white cabinets that we just showcased before that. These are gonna have the deep drawers that are almost 20 inches deep and they are gonna be soft clothes. The sink is not in the island. It is over there next to that wonderful window. And a lot of you seem to like it better when it's not in the island. 
So drop us a comment below and let us know, do you prefer that sink in the island or do you like it against the wall where you can look out the window? Right here next to the refrigerator is the pantry. Sadly, the power's not on in here, but I just so happen to have a flashlight. That's a deep closet or pantry, isn't it? This is the biggest pantry I've seen in a while. Yeah. And look, they've already got the cast iron loaded on the shelves ready to cook some breakfast, don't they? They do. We could eat some bacon and eggs out of those. As we step back through, just know that we're getting a sneak peek so this house has not been completely framed in and put together, so they're still kind of working on it. They've got it staged to a point, but we're still going to see some shingles and some stuff like that in the floor, so just bear with us. Now, in my opinion, as nice as that first living room was that we walked into, this den is probably where I would spend my time. And that's because of the nice electric fireplace. We have shown y'all in the past videos gas logs, regular wood burning, and electric. And for those of us that are kind of more lazy-minded like myself, the electric has a lot of appeal. You don't have to worry about a gas bill if you don't have gas lines at your home, ran out to your home site. You also don't have to worry about the wood or embers sparking out or chopping wood, all that kind of stuff. Just makes it very easy got a really nice area up here for your tv and i would be sitting right back here enjoying these beams and these can lights that are right here above it they got a sectional in here compared to the regular sofa and stuff that was just over there and the windows are right here behind you which let in tons of natural light the beams continue in here like they were in the first living room that we walked into uh, you can see that they've got a spot right up in the ceiling up there in the shiplap where you can put a ceiling fan or a light. So that's a very nice addition in my opinion. It just kind of gives more of an accent feel. And then it matches the lighting that's over top of the bar in the kitchen as well. So it all ties together. Your exterior rear door is off the den right here. So if you wanted to build a deck out here, put a grill or a smoker or something, you could walk right off that deck through that door and be in the kitchen licky split just like that we're going to walk back the way we came we're going to save the master bedroom for last and we're going to head right over here into this little room off to the side what's this over here well let's find out it leads into a laundry room with another exterior door so you've got two exterior doors on the back i would build a big deck i think that would encompass both doors i think that that would look pretty nice you got your washer and dryer area right here Behind me, you have the perfect spot for a very large deep freeze. You've got your plug already there. And this right here, if you put a stand up, you could almost put two right here. I mean, instead of just the chest style. And if you turn all the way around, there's another door in this laundry room. It goes to a bathroom. You're like, well, wait a second. Why is there a bathroom here? Well, this is a Jack and Jill style bathroom. They could double for your guests in the home. They can walk through the laundry room, come here and use this bathroom but it also ties into the guest bedroom, which is pretty neat. This is kind of like a maze in here, guys. You could, you could run in circles. I know my daughter would have her friends over here and they'd be just running the Indy 500 around this loop. I, I have no doubt. So if you take a look in this bedroom, this is a very, very large guest bedroom. And there again, if you have uh, elderly people that are living with you, like your in-laws or something like that, this home is set up where you could have two living rooms almost two masters i would almost consider this two masters because of the bathroom being attached and there's a large large walk-in closet it is absolutely massive in here and it almost doubles as a secondary master bedroom there again it does have wire racks in here but that can be replaced for next to nothing 40 50 bucks check the links below for the amazon kits for the shelving Worth mentioning is every room has a smoke detector in it. The heat and air in this home is in the floor. You can see the vent right back here by the window on the wall. And you can put a king size bed in here. Now, we kind of went around the world to get to where we're about to be. We'll show you where we're at if you're as lost as we are. Who knew you could get lost in a mobile home, right? <laughs> hey, Brandon. Yeah. Uh, They've got heating and air, it looks like, in the floor and the ceiling. Or I wonder if you get a choice. I bet you it's heat in the top and air yeah, in the bottom. that makes sense. Is what I would think. Or vice versa. I'm not sure which one makes more sense because I know hot air rises, right? Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, this is going to be your heat and air return, so we're not even going to open that up, I don't think. Well, why not? We're here, right? Yeah. There you go. There's your heat and air return. There again, they have sheetrock on the back of the door just to add a little bit more soundproofing to that unit. So there again, I consider that, no, that's not the master. We have not been to the master yet, but like I said, I could see that as a secondary master. Let's go to this other guest room right here. Another massive guest room. They do have carpet floors in the bedrooms. I know that's a big deal for some people that live in a colder region. They don't like the cold hardwood floor style. This right here just keeps it a little bit warmer. This room right here is another very, very large room. I mean, I'm, I'm in one corner and heat's in the other, so that gives you a good idea of just how big this room is. It has a single window in here with very deep window seals. And there again, these are croft vinyl windows that are in this home. So these are not your cheap rinky-dink windows. These things are pressure tested to make sure that they are as efficient as they possibly can be. And as a matter of fact, I don't know if the camera will pan up, but you can see that it's argon gas filled. So between the panes, that's what it does. That's what's used to keep this thing soundproof as well as energy efficient. We do have another big walk-in closet in here. Maybe the light's doing y'all justice, I don't know, but it's a good size closet to be a guest bedroom. There is can lighting in that closet, which is worth mentioning as well. Now, as we walk back out, where we came in at initially it was right over here. We just kind of made a big loop to come back through the laundry room to get to these guest bedrooms. It's like I said, you could get lost in here. <laughs> you come right here. This is going to be the last guest bedroom and then we're going to feature the bathroom. Sadly, the power is not on on this home right here. They're shuffling these things in and out of here faster than you would think is possible. So they are not even having a lot of time to get them set up. I'll turn my light on for y'all so you can see the closet right here. This is another good size closet. Not quite walk in, but there's enough room to be able to see and get to whatever you need to. Well, I know we've been talking now for well over 10 minutes, so I know you've got to be getting excited for us to get to that master, but we've got to show you this guest bathroom, which is going to be the third bathroom of the home before we move that way. There again, it's going to be dark in here, so we're going to be real brief. It's going to be a single piece shower unit in there. The countertops are going to match the countertops in the kitchen as well as the cabinets. And overall, it's just a beautiful little guest bathroom. So let's go ahead and head towards that master bedroom and bathroom before we tell you all the price on this home. This is a monster of a home though. Just absolutely spacious in every regard. 32 by 80. So there again, just a big home. Still can't get over all of the wood in this home. I love it. And here we go. This is a standout room right here, guys. When you walk into the master bedroom, oh, wow. it's all shiplap on the back wall. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, if you like that farmhouse style, this is exactly the home for you. You have really, really deep window sills. And the wood is, I mean, you can see how the wood is. Look at it double layered. Absolutely crazy how deep that is right there. I mean, that's a, that's a deep inset because the exterior walls are much thicker than your typical mobile home. As you rotate the camera around through this room, you got plenty of room to put your bed in any direction. Right here is going to be a barn house door that takes you into a beautiful master bathroom. And this right here is going to absolutely take your breath away. You'll notice that the master closet wasn't in the bedroom. That's because it's in here in the bathroom. We're going to go to it in just a second. But right here is a beautiful double vanity with mirrors above it and shiplap on the walls in here. You do have lights above both mirrors. You do have those very nice cabinets like the rest of the home that are soft clothes. And a massive garden tub. If you didn't see the video before this one where I climbed over into the tub and laid out in it, you're missing something. <laughs> it's a beautiful tub though. Has a nice tile backsplash. They even did the trim around the window that goes to the shower with that tile. Now we're going to step right over here. We're going to talk about these cabinets after we get out of this shower. You have dual controls. Say you get in here with your significant other. 
One of you likes hot water. One of you likes cold water. My wife gets in there and she says, I can't use hot water on my hair. And I'm like, well, I'm not getting in the shower with you. You're crazy. I don't take cold showers. Well, guess what? I could have a hot water over here. She could have cold water over there. So as we look down at the basin of this, this is a single piece basin in the bottom. It is full tile. It does have that large window that we talked about that leads the natural light in from right above the bathtub back. Let's talk about these cabinets huge amount of room for every towel that you'd ever want to put in there as well as if you needed to store your toilet paper or something like that say you didn't want to put it underneath the sink you got all the room in the world tons of room in there guys now let's go ahead and show you this closet right here let's take a look at it and it has wood racks hallelujah and natural lighting from the window up at the ceiling Look at that shoe. Those are shoe shelves, guys. I'm going to take my boot off. Let's try it and see how it works. There you go. If my big foot fits in there, I'm sure anybody's will, right? <laughs> but yeah, these closets are wonderful. I love the style of this one, though, with all of that shoe room. I have a lot of boots. <laughs> so I need the shoe room, and I know my wife has a lot of high heels. Though she broke her ankle last year, and she can't really wear those as much as she used to. And here is the toilet closet, the potty closet, the whatever you want to call it closet, which is wonderful. To have a little bit of privacy, say your wife's in here, or vice versa, you can shut that door and it's like you're in a whole separate room. Let's go talk about the pricing. I'm going to let Heath lead the way to the pricing. If they haven't subscribed. Yes, if you have not subscribed, please do so because we've got some crazy tours coming up on this channel, guys. Stuff that's going to blow your mind. Hit the like button for us. Yeah, the like button, the comment button. Tell us how bad we're doing. Drop a thumbs up or down. All we want is your reaction. Just tell us. So let's talk about the pricing. There again, Deer Valley, Big Chief, 32 by 80 Suggested retail was 273 They discounted it to 261 Again, the 240 And then as you can see, this home only, 234 5 that is an absolutely amazing price, guys. There again, this is subject to the time this was filmed. There again, this is June 2023. Any day after that, <laughs> you hit July, it could change. You hit August, it could be way different. If you watch this in 2025, it'll be even higher. <laughs> if you're not subscribed, though, please be sure that you are, like we mentioned just a second ago, and follow us to the next home tour, which is going to be right here behind us. Let's go check it out.